Hello there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have uh, part one of a two-part series featuring the Simon Says Stamp December 2018 card kit, and this one's called Holiday Cheer. So let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside this kit. We always get candy. Mine was broken, but that's okay. I could eat it in pieces. <laughs> uh, Festive Berries Distress Oxide Ink Pad, a full pad. Two Suzy Custom Watercolor Note Cards, both super pretty. We get three envelopes, one metallic schoolhouse red, one metallic Audrey blue, and one metallic white. These are beautiful. Can't wait to use them. A custom Daniel Smith watercolor card. Uh, now I'm really wishing that I had known what these colors were because some of these I can see purchasing just by themselves because they're really great. So there's that light, that blue there, almost like a yellow gold or an ochre, yellow ochre, a green, and then a red. And these are beautiful. Very beautiful. Then we also have one Simon Sis Stamp red, small red tag, one pack of holiday sequins, and my understanding is you could get red or green. We also have the Simon Says Stamp Candy Canes die set. We also have 12 double-sided sheets of the 6x6 Cartabella Santa's Workshop. And some of these you are definitely going to have to decide which side you're going to sacrifice because there are some really beautiful patterns in here. I love the like basically 50s or 60s vintage feel of these papers. These are awesome. I got some good use out of these for sure. It also comes with three pre-scored Audrey Blue A2 note cards. I used all those up too. Love that. It has the Simon Says Stamp 6x8 Christmas Cheer stamp set. A lot of fun sentiments, and images, and it comes with two 6x13 inch sheets of Cartabella Santa's Workshop stickers. A ton here. I had so many left over. These are great. Super fun. It always comes with an idea sheet. And then this one comes with Simon Says Stamp Lipstick Red Cardstock, card Green Leaf Cardstock, and one Nina White Cardstock. For card number one, I have an array of projects or products that I plan to use for this project. I'm going to start off by doing some ink blending. And I am using Peacock Feathers in Distress Oxide on a piece of the... Um, pattern paper that came in the kit. This is just a plain blue and I thought that would just make it an easier canvas. Since it was already blue, I wouldn't have to do as much blending. And then I'm going back over that with some blueprint sketch. And then I'm going to pull in some black soot just around the edges here. And believe it or not, even with this pattern paper, I'm actually getting a pretty good blend. Uh, those are some of the reasons why I really like the Distress Oxides is because they just blend so nicely on most mediums that you're using and this is no exception. So I did flick a little bit of water on there and this is not watercolor paper so I don't necessarily really recommend it but I didn't keep the water on there for very long so that was the one thing. And then I use a little bit of golden white acrylic paint and just a, an old paintbrush that I have. It's an old water brush and I'm flicking that full strength. I didn't even add any water but that is a fluid acrylic. I just wanted the stars or the snow in the background to be pretty prominent. I'm also using the My Favorite Things Hit the Slopes die on some Nina card stock just to give it a stitched edge on that slope. And I'm keeping both of those pieces, the one I'm going to use on a project later. But for this one, I've grabbed a couple of the stickers from that Cartabella um, sticker, one of the sticker sheets, and I'm using my powder bag over the back of it. I'm going to take away all the stickiness because I'm not exactly sure where I want to put these stickers quite yet. And so I'm just going to take off all that stickiness. That's uh, another great use for the powder bag. And then I'll clean up my mess. <laughs> and then I'm going to start stamping out my sentiment on the slope after I've kind of decided where I want things. So I'll use my mini Misty and I'm going to put one of the sentiments. I'm putting Mary in there from the stamp set, which again is called Christmas Cheer. And I'm going to use the Distress Oxide Color Festive Berries, and that one came in the kit. And I'll just ink up my stamp, stamp that down, and then I will put the word Christmas over the top of that, but I'm not going to stamp that in the Festive Berries. I'm actually going to use some Versafine Onyx Black ink. I thought that would layer nicely over 
the Distress Oxide Festive Berries. And then I've got my sentiment all ready to go. So I'll pull that out and I'm going to use just some liquid glue, a tacky glue. It's the Simon Says Stamp Tacky Glue. And I'm going to stick that down onto my card panel. Getting that all squared away. That's why I like liquid adhesive. As long as you don't use too much, it works out great. And I'm going to use uh, some of the cardstock from the kit. This was cut down to four and a quarter by 11 inches and then scored at five and a half inches. So this will open sideways. And then I'm going to use that same craft tacky glue all along the back of my panel just to go ahead and adhere that to my card base. And it gives me a little bit of wiggle room by using that tacky glue. And then I'm going to start deciding where I want to put things. So I'm going to put the, the house directly onto my panel so that it's sort of in the distance, almost like making it look like it's in the distance. And then I'm going to use some foam tape on the back of my Christmas tree. This ends up being a super easy card, and I really end up liking it a lot. So that will finish off card number one. Good stuff. Those stickers make them easy. Now on to card number two. I am grabbed some uh, that pattern paper from the kit, and I'm going to use that My Favorite Things Blueprints number 29 die with it, and that just gives it a stitched edge and a rectangle. And then I'm going to run the die that I had, or that I got in the kit, with some cardstock that I have uh, in my stash. I'm going to run that through my Sizzix Sidekick, and because it fits perfectly, and I, you all know I love my Sizzix Sidekick. <laughs> so, um... Then I'm going to run that through again for the bow with some green cardstock from my stash. And then I'm going to start the task of putting everything together. So I'll take the outline of the candy cane die and I'm just going to use some liquid glue. In this case, it's the Simon Says Stamp Tacky Glue. I'm going to stick that down. And then I'm going to start siphoning through all those pieces of the candy cane. And I'll put those pieces in where they belong. It was a little bit of a task. Uh, if I had been thinking, I would have been a little bit more mindful of how I popped those pieces out. So I started off putting them in with my fingers and using that same tacky glue. And then I was thinking, this is kind of a pain. Why don't I grab my crystal katana? <laughs> or any sort of jewel picker or something like that would probably work really well. So I grabbed that out, used my tacky glue, and stuck the pieces down. And in some cases, grabbed the wrong piece, like in this case. So just pop that out, set that aside, and then grab the right piece and just filled in all those every other one like a candy cane would be. So it was a process, but I sure didn't mind because I think it ended up looking really cute this way. Just going through and sticking all those in. Once I got that last one in, I grabbed the bow and I backed that with some foam tape because I wanted it to pop up. Originally I thought it would be fine to be flat, but I wanted it to pop up. So I stuck the bow to, or assembled the bow and then used the foam tape to pop up the bow onto the candy canes. And then I realized that that postage stamp, so I cut that piece out using the Tailored Expressions postage stamp dies. It's a set of dies and they're small all the way up to a big one. This is not the biggest. But it, it kind of got washed out on the paper that I had chosen. So I grabbed my Copic and G43, the, the, that's the color, and I just went around the outside. So it's a stitched postage, so it has that nice little stitched edge, and I just stuck to the stick, stitched edge and used that Copic. And I'm using my Aqua Shimmer pen on the bow to give it a little bit of zhuzh. And then I'm going to start assembling my card. So my card base is that green cardstock that came in the kit that I had cut down to four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half inches, no big surprise, top folding a two size card. And then I start to actually think about the sentiment. So I grabbed that sentiment from the set. Once again, that set is the Christmas cheer set. And I grabbed some vellum that I had in my stash. And I'm gonna use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink on that. And I'll just stamp that sentiment onto there because it'll make it a good crisp black. And then this is where I screwed up. So I did start assembling the card. Thankfully, I used the liquid glue so it wasn't stuck down completely. 
but you know it needed time to dry anyway and as I was putting my postage stamp panel onto there I was like oh my goodness I forgot I wanted to wrap around the vellum because you know with vellum whatever adhesive you use will show through so I wanted to wrap that around the edges of that pattern paper panel and thankfully I didn't have too much damage when I pulled it up from the card base so I wrapped that around and then I'm just going to use some washi tape to adhere it and then once again I'll grab that glue no harm no foul and I will re-glue that back and I will stick that down to my card base and once I do that that's actually going to finish off the card I really love that die it's really pretty there are a lot of different options that you could do with that die um, to make that red pop so there we go card number three is definitely a fun little card that I made so I have a scrap of my Expressit cardstock which is my favorite uh, cardstock for Copic coloring and then I'm going to grab out my stamp platform and I'm going to line all that up take the magnet and then I will grab my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I will stamp him up. I'm not going to show you the coloring because otherwise this would have made that video, this video very long. And I didn't do anything real special with it. I just love that little round Santa. He's so stinking cute. Um, so I colored him really simply. And then I trimmed him out. So for my card base, I'm just going to use some white cardstock. And I did use that same blueprint sketch, or blueprint sketch, blueprints number 29 from My Favorite Things. It's a die, and it gives a little stitched border. And I used that on some of the patterned paper there. And you can see that, you know, I did cut around the hole, but that's okay because it's going to be covered. One of my pet peeves with some of these papers is that they are six by six, but you really can't use the whole thing because there's that hole in the middle. I understand why companies do it, but I feel like that kind of that leaves me a little less paper to use. So I trimmed that out in the green as well. And now I'm going to um, get my card base ready. And if I had been thinking, I would have run that. So I used the um, My Favorite Things wonk wonky stitched square. And if I had been thinking, I would have just stuck those two on top of each other and then run it through together. But I ran it through on my pattern paper first. And now I'm just lining that up to make sure that the hole lines up where I want it to and then I will tape that in place and run that through my Big Shot one more time. And it worked out fine. I've got four of the little snowflakes that came in the stamp set, and I'm going to use my tumbled glass Distress Oxide inks, and I'm going to stamp those on the background, because I wanted this to look like a little window panel, like Santa's standing by the window checking his list. And so I stamped all the little snowflakes so that they're on the inside, but it, you know you can see it through. And to make sure that I stamp my sentiment straight, because we all know I have an issue with that, <laughs> I stuck it inside my Mini Misty, and I'm going to grab my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp that down, and that worked out fine. So now I'll start assembling everything. I'm going to use that same Simon Says Stamp Tacky Glue, and I will adhere that to the front. And the nice thing about that is because you know I'm trying to line that up with the window through, I can kind of manipulate that how I need it to be manipulated. And yes, you can see that little circle there, but I will cover that up. This is supposed to look like carpet, and that striped pattern paper that I chose is supposed to look like wallpaper. So I thought that was kind of fun. And so then Santa will be standing there by the window. And I didn't want him to look like he's just floating, so I did grab my Copic C1, and I kind of color a little bit of a shadow underneath him. Pretty subtle. And then I'll use the tacky glue to adhere Santa down. And the trick is trying to realize where you need your glue so that you're not, you know, adhering the thing closed. And I did put a little too much on Santa, and I realized this, so I, I flip him here in a second and just make sure that that's kind of wiped up. And then he's ready to go. But for a final bit of embellishment, I decided to grab those Darice sequins. They're fairly big, and they only come in the one size, so I put three on there. And then once I'm done with that, that will finish off this adorable little Santa card. I just love that Santa. I'm going to use him for sure in the future because I love how round he is. 
for the last project, I'm just calling this project number four because it's not cards, um, I'm making a set of tags. I'm going to use that red tag that came in the kit and then I had I grabbed three from my stash. There are so many amazing stickers in this grouping that you could just go crazy making your tags and they're so fast and easy. I cranked these four out in literally the video, like I've sped it up, but it was six minutes. Six minutes to make four tags, it was nothing. And once you get in a rhythm, like a battle rhythm, it is super fast. I could imagine, you know, cranking them out in probably having 10 tags in 10 minutes. And so I grabbed a Copic and I colored in the, the bottom just to make it look like the car was a little grounded. And then I'm grabbing my white Signo gel pen to give it some stitching just to add a little something on the outside. And I didn't add any um, twine to it yet. I'll add that later because it's just not that big of a deal at this point. I usually add my twine when I'm putting it on the packaging. And then I did with the red one, I just add the little gingerbread. He just seemed to fit perfectly on that little red tag. And then once again with the Signo gel pen. And I do have a little bonus card at the end that I will show you and I'm showing you all of the cards. I just didn't film it because I painted it while I was sitting with my husband while he was playing one of his games. And so I grabbed a red Copic, colored in the ground to make it look like that Christmas tree was um, on some carpet. And then the final one is just another tree. And I do end up adding a couple of little sentiments to the two tree ones. They both are the, I think they both say December 25th on them possibly, which is perfect for a tag card. Or might one of them might even say Dear Santa, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I thought they were perfect. And that'll finish off those four cards. And any of the sticky, you just make sure it's not sticky when you're done. So that's the four cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at the four projects, well, with the bonus one, uh, that I made. Here is card number one. I would love to know which one of these is your favorite. Um, I, like I've always said, that's my favorite part of making all these, is just hearing which ones you guys like the best. And then there's the four tags and then the bonus card. So I'm like, wait, there's one more, like an infomercial. <laughs> And if you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to stick around because this is part one of two. There will be another part. Thank you so much and have a great day.